Hello everyone, it's Tony here. Uh, I was looking over at my Minecraft series and I took into consideration that a lot of people have been playing that game. It was really popular and there are a lot of other games that are really popular like that as well. But uh, I really chose this game, uh, The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, because I haven't seen a lot of people play this on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure about other places, but I, you know, I don't know. So, uh, I've seen a lot of good reviews about this game. I've heard that it's the greatest out of all the Elder Scrolls series, but I've never got time to check it out myself. So I am completely blind on this. I've only seen about the first few quests from it for uh, the first time I played it, but I only played it for like a good 10 minutes, and then I got Oblivion from my computer. But uh, let's just jump right in and check it out. I feel like uh, I'm really anxious to play this, and I feel that it's going to be a very good game uh, after looking at all the other ones. Uh, the also cool thing about it is, as you can see there, that it has a... Oh, wait, here we go. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero, there is no event. Uh, I didn't know who to... In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prison born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under God without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. Ooh, story time. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Many fall, but the one remains. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Jesus. Are you okay? Wake up. Wake up. Whoa, Stand up. Oh, Jesus. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What's my name? Uh, Tony. Uh, not even last night's storm could wait. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Okay, uh, I'm going to pause real quick so I can put on subtitles. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. subtitles on. Always use best attack. Uh, I'll keep that off to get it a little harder, I guess. Difficulty, uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, controls, uh, I'll probably learn that on the way, so. Uh, AI distance? Uh, I guess I'll work on this later. Okay. Quiet. Here comes the car. That's better. This is where you get off. Come with me. Aye, aye, Captain. The bean asks me forward and back, and he move. Yeah, obviously. Whoa, is this like the run or is it the walk? Because this is going to be really slow. Oh man. It's pretty cool. Uh, start off on a prisoner ship. Usually that uh, doesn't really happen with other Elder Scrolls games. Except like you were in the uh, Get yourself stage up on coach deck and let's Skyrim, keep this as civil as and possible. A, a normal prison in oblivion. Look at the hatch, press spacebar. Alright, spacebar activates. The controls in this game differ this so much. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Uh, of course, that's a classic Red Guard voice. You Hello. finally arrived. But our records don't show from where. Ooh, I'm a stranger. And look at that shriveled dark ale face. Uh, uh, I really have no idea what I'm going to be. Um. I don't really know what class was going to be, so I think I might just go with <laughs> the Bald Imperial. Uh, I have played an Argonian in my first game, but uh, they can't wear helmets or boots, so I don't know what that has to do with it, but uh, just because I can't figure out what I want to pick, I'll go uh, either Imperial or Breton. Uh, as you can see, Imperials are more about combat and Bretons are more about magic. So uh, I really feel like uh, I'm just going to go for like a uh, you know normal melee character so I'm just going to go for Imperial. Uh, change sex. <laughs> okay. Uh, change face. Uh, oh that cool goatee guy. Oh, oh Jesus. That's creepy. Uh, confident looking smirky guy. Uh, Overly happy goatee, uh, normal face, kind of wrinkly, sad. Uh, I'll go with this one. 
Alright, change hair. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't like the fact that you can't change, like, the colors and stuff like that, but... So, like, if you like the color, but you don't like the way the hair looks, you're, you're uh... You're not in the good... You're not in the good choice. Uh, this one... His head kind of looks a little flattened. Uh... <laughs> wait, hold on. This one are you. <laughs> I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Special, Star of the West and Voice of the Emperor. Absorb Fatigue and Charm 25 to 50 points. Okay. So, let's get the Poofy Ball Ponytail and the Cool Goatee Guy Face. Alright, let's do it. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. I wonder what I have done. I guess that's the story that I'll have to make up. That's a funny looking helmet. Sega Neen Census and Excise Office. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. Hello? Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Ooh. Uh, answers, questions, generates class, given info, pick from class list, fill out forms yourself. I think everyone is going to pick this. But it is pretty neat how you can uh, ask questions and it generates it for you. Uh, specialization, combat. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe stealth. Stealth seems pretty cool. Uh, security, acrobatic, short blade, hand to hand, sneak, light armor. Combat, block, medium armor, blunt weapons. Uh, God. <laughs> I was wanting to see all the new stuff that they didn't have in uh, Skyrim. Like, they have medium armor and uh, spear, as you can see here, and uh, combat. And. They have unarmored. They actually have a skill for that, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, I think I don't think I'm gonna be really paying attention to stealth much. I think I'm just gonna run in and just slash stuff. Uh, strength, I guess. Intelligence, maybe. Uh, speed, because uh, who doesn't want to be fast? Major skills: block, armor, medium armor, heavy armor, blunt weapon. Uh, what was that? medium armor? Okay, um, long blade, I guess? Uh, <laughs> sorry if I'm saying uh too much. I just have no idea what I'm going to pick. Athletics, running, swimming, skill athletics, move short and long distances. Alright, seems good. Uh, athletics, block, armor. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using armor or much. Spear? Yeah, spear seems good. Uh, other ones, minor skills. I guess these are uh, major skills, I guess, give you a higher bonus, and minor skills give you a smaller bonus. But then I guess other uh, skills are, are you have to start from scratch, or start from zero. Let's see. Uh, mercantile. That seems good. Uh, buying low and selling high. Seems good. Axe, or if there's any other ones I haven't seen uh, that are new. Uh, no. Pretty much all the ones that I haven't seen is athletics. They had a crossbow one for stealth, but that's just a weapon. I don't think they have a, uh, a skill for that. But okay. Uh, there we have axe, armor, blunt weapon, enchant. I think I'm going to be using enchant. So let's see acrobatics. All right, that works. Name adventure. Uh, Yeah, I can't really think of a good name, so yeah, I'll just go adventure. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Uh, in Oblivion, I usually pick the lore because it gave you a, uh, a Blood of the North spell that restored, as it had an amazing restore health spell. But I'm not, I'm not really going to be a magic class, so or I'm not a magic class as of now, but. Uh, I think this might work, but as long as it's the only spell I use. Uh, the other one I used was Thief, or, yeah, I'm just going to go Lord. The Lord. Interesting. Now, before I scan 